welcome to a Fiction Friday. Today I talk about a National Book Award winning novel, Salvage the Bone by Jesmyn Ward. I ended up reading this book because a book club that I was in decided to read Sing Unburied Sing, which is another novel by Jesmyn Ward. And when I looked up Sing Unburied Sing online, it said it was part two of a series. And I thought, oh wow, if it's book two, I want to read book one before I read book two. But that was a misunderstanding on my part, so I want to be clear. If you look it up online and you see that, it's not a series in the sense of a continuing saga. Jasmine Ward was inspired by William Faulkner to have a setting in which she used the same community but told stories about different characters and events that happened in their lives. So the two books take place in the same setting with the same surrounding community, but they are about different characters. They are really unrelated, and you do not have to read them in order to understand the other one. You don't have to read them in order or anything like that. Without giving spoilers, that in Sing Unburied Sing, on page, let's see, 197, there is a paragraph that mentions a couple of characters that were in Salvage the Bone. But that's pretty much it. You don't need to know the one to know the other. But I do recommend reading them both. I highly recommend the book. I gave it 4 out of 5 stars on Goodreads. And the only reason it doesn't get 5 stars is because there were some places in the plot where it was slow. And that's okay. I don't mind that overall. But there were times that I wondered why it was so slow. But but then I remembered that Jesmyn Ward was inspired by William Faulkner, and William Faulkner also writes a lot of scenes that feel slow, where you are getting character development, and even though it's based in real life and in the South, and that's realistic enough that you don't need world building the way you need it in a sci-fi or fantasy book, it does present a sense of world building by allowing you to understand the community and the world that the characters live in. Something that I really liked about the book was, and I should have read the back of the book, because nothing I'm going to tell you here is not on the back of the book but I just started reading it excited to read it because I thought it was book one of a series and I didn't read the back of the book it takes place in 2005 in Mississippi and that means that the character in the story who comes across as the paranoid father who's always scared there's gonna be some big hurricane about to hit is actually correct so silly me by not understanding the context not having read the back of the book it didn't occur to me that yes this was gonna be a novel about characters dealing with Hurricane Katrina. In fact, that's one of the main reasons that Jasmine Ward says that she wrote the book because she herself experienced the devastation of Hurricane Katrina and she was amazed at how easily that it seemed to slip away from public consciousness. I'm glad that she wrote the book. The main character is called Esh. She is a shell. She's just 15 years old. It deals with her family, with her paranoid father, with her brothers. She's got three brothers. Brothers, they're going through a whole lot. One of the main arcs of the book deals with her brother's dog, and her brother loves the dog, but the brother also uses the dog for fighting. That people go to these dog fights and they bet on which dog is going to win and that sort of thing. So it's a really interesting contrast because if you love animals, you're probably against the animal fights, against pitting them against each other where they get brutally hurt or killed by other animals. It's a really interesting narrative. There's a lot of other stuff going on as again this is on the back of the book as shell finds out in the story that she's pregnant and it's not as if she's pregnant from someone that she deeply loves or cares about it's just this guy in the community but she was hopeful you know as a 15 year old girl she was hopeful that something would come of that relationship or that this guy might be there. You've got very interesting relationships going on. You've got the situation with the hurricane and it turns into a survival story as not only are they just trying to survive in general, but all the more trying to survive the natural disaster of the hurricane while dealing with the dog and the puppies and dealing with the situation of a pregnant 15 year old. I highly recommend the book as I said earlier. Every day is a good day for a book talk. Peace.